Welcome back to another episode here in the cozy kitchen. That was my attempt at being a quarterback. I was a pitcher back in the day, but baseball, I'm going off tangent. Today is a very special day because Super Bowl Sunday is right around the corner. And today's recipe is a really nice, indulgent, savory pasta that I don't cook very often. But when I do, people are fighting for the last bites in the pan. So with Super Bowl Sunday coming up, you're gonna wanna add this dish to the menu. Today we are making baked buffalo chicken pasta with roasted cauliflower. So if you like buffalo cauliflower, if you like buffalo chicken, if you like pasta, and if you like blue cheese, I would stick around because by the end of this video, you will be drooling. This isn't a dish that I'm making on weeknights, but for special occasions like the Super Bowl, or if you're having a party and you're having some friends over and you want a nice, casual, comforting dish that everyone's gonna enjoy, then this baked buffalo chicken pasta with roasted cauliflower is for you. Just to give you an idea of what is going on right now in this kitchen, my oven is preheated at 450 degrees. In this bowl here, here I have about four cups of cauliflower florets. Now I just bought the cauliflower that's already in the florette form. You could get your own cauliflower, chop it up. Why put in the extra work? So here I have about four cups of cauliflower florets. And here I have a tray lined with some parchment paper. The very first thing we're gonna do is toss this cauliflower in with some olive oil and a quick spice mixture. For the spice mixture for the cauliflower, you will want a half a teaspoon of garlic powder, a half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, a half a teaspoon of paprika, a half a teaspoon of onion powder, a half half a teaspoon of kosher salt and a pinch of black pepper. All we're gonna do is pour over some olive oil, toss it with our hands. Once it's coated in that spice rub in the olive oil, you can put it on your tray with the parchment paper and put that tray in the oven 450 degrees for about 15 minutes. While that cauliflower is in the oven, you can start to get your other things ready for this dish. For this recipe today, you will need one large pot, which I have over there on the stove. It's filled with water. We're gonna boil our pasta in that pot. You're also gonna want another deep pot. That deep pot is going to be for where we cook our chicken. To start out this dish, we're first gonna start with the chicken. When you order buffalo chicken out at the restaurant, what does it come with? Celery and carrots. So for the base of the chicken, we're first gonna start with some celery and some carrots. You're gonna need two medium-sized ribs of celery as well as one medium carrot. For this recipe, you will also need one small sweet onion. Into that pot that we have without the water, we're gonna add two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil and raise the heat to medium high. Once that pan is nice and warm, we're gonna add in our minced onion, our minced celery, and our minced carrots. I just finished with my onion, my carrot, my celery. We're gonna pour our vegetables into that pot with the extra virgin olive oil that's been heating up. Toss it with a pinch of kosher salt and a pinch of black pepper and just let it saute in that pan. I just took my cauliflower out of the oven. It's just starting to crisp and brown on the outside. To that cauliflower, we are gonna add the juice of half of a lemon and then set that cauliflower aside and just let it sit until we're ready for it later. That oven that has been on for our cauliflower, you can drop the heat to 350 degrees and keep it there until we're ready to put our pasta in to finish it off. Make sure to toss those vegetables around in that pan every few minutes. After a few minutes, as they start to soften, we're gonna add in one minced garlic clove and one tablespoon of unsalted butter. Once that butter and the garlic is in that pan with the vegetables, you can then add a half a cup of low sodium chicken broth, toss that in with the vegetables and get those vegetables nice and soft and ready for our chicken. My vegetables have been sauteing over medium high heat. They're soft to the touch and ready for my ground chicken to go in there. To those vegetables, I'm gonna throw in my two pounds of ground chicken. Once that ground chicken hits that pan with those vegetables, add in a half a teaspoon of kosher salt, half a teaspoon of black pepper, as well as a half a teaspoon of garlic powder. Once that chicken is in that pan, break it up with your spoon and get it cooking. While that chicken is in that pan, cooking away with those vegetables, you can turn your water on to high. We wanna bring that water to a boil. Remember, right before it comes to a boil, you wanna add in a generous amount of salt just to help flavor the pasta. Once you turn that heat on to high, remember that nice bowl that we use to toss our cauliflower, you can just give that a good rinse and then get that out again. We're gonna take out our cheeses so that right before our pasta is cooked to al dente, we can toss it in with our cheeses and our cooked chicken and get it all together. I have two thirds of a cup of mascarpone cheese right here. Mascarpone cheese is similar to a cream cheese. It just doesn't have as much of a tang. We're just gonna set two thirds of a cup of mascarpone cheese aside in that bowl and bring it to room temperature. To that bowl with that mascarpone cheese, we are also gonna add a quarter of a cup of grated Parmesan. 
For me personally, I cannot have buffalo chicken without blue cheese. So to that bowl with the mascarpone and the grated Parmesan, you're going to add a half a cup of gorgonzola crumbles. You're also going to want some extra gorgonzola crumbles just set aside, which we're going to add at the very end. You're going to want one baking dish with a little bit of depth to it. We're going to add in our pasta and our chicken all in this dish and finish it off in the oven. So get that dish out. And with a little bit of olive oil, you can just line the dish with your fingers just to make sure that nothing sticks to the pan when we put it in the oven. When it comes to buffalo sauce, there is no denying that no one in the game does it like Frank's. So to that cooked chicken and those vegetables, we are going to add one cup of Frank's red hot buffalo sauce. You want to make sure that it's the buffalo into that pot. We're going to mix that sauce in with the chicken. Keep it over that medium high heat. For today's recipe, we are going to be using penne pasta. I've used different pastas for this recipe before, but I have to say that penne is by far my favorite. So I would suggest penne. We're going to add in our penne pasta into that boiling water water. We want to cook it right before it becomes al dente. So whatever the cooking instructions are for your pasta, take off about three minutes. When it gets to that point, we're going to take the pasta off and drain it and then mix it all together with our meat and get that going in the oven. As soon as that chicken and hot sauce start to come to a bubble, you can turn your heat off, give it a few stirs and just set it aside off the heat. We're just going to wait for our pasta to finish cooking before we mix everything together and get it in the oven. Before you drain that pasta, just go over and reserve about a half a cup of that pasta pasta water and set that aside. We're going to use that pasta water a little bit later on. I'm about to drain my pasta and pour that almost al dente pasta into that large bowl that we set aside with our cheeses. After you pour your pasta into that bowl with the cheeses, you want to add one tablespoon of unsalted butter as well, and then immediately start to mix all of that together. Once that pasta is evenly coated with all those cheeses and that butter, we can add this pasta into our baking dish. Once you pour that pasta into that baking dish, you can then add in some buffalo chicken. What I like to do is grab a ladle and just add in little by little and toss it in all together. Remember our cauliflower? Seems like so long ago. After you've mixed in that buffalo chicken and that creamy cheesy pasta, the final thing that you want to top in is that roasted cauliflower. After you've tossed in that cauliflower as well, we're going to add in that half a cup of reserved pasta water evenly into that baking dish, as well as another half cup of Frank's Red Hot. When I go in at the end with the Frank's Red Hot, what I like to do is just add a little drizzle back and forth across the pan right at the very top of the pasta. After we add in that Frank's Red Hot. The final two things we're going to add in before we put it in the oven are shredded mozzarella and some more gorgonzola crumbles. I like to add enough mozzarella that it covers the top, but you can still see a little bit of that pasta underneath. This pasta is going to go in the oven at 350 degrees for about 20 minutes or until the top starts to brown. I reserved about one eighth of that buffalo chicken and set it aside in a bowl. What I like to do right when I serve is just add a little bit of that ground chicken right on top of that baked pasta. The sun is going down over here. The pasta is in the oven. It's almost ready to come out. Right before it has about five minutes left in that oven, we're going to top off that pasta with two green onions and one Roma tomato just to add a little freshness to that pasta. I just added my tomatoes and my green onions right on top of the pasta. It's going to go back in the oven for the final five minutes before we take it out and we serve. After you take that pasta out of the oven, you can turn your oven off and just let that pasta sit for just about three to four minutes before you start to serve. It's dinner time. Here we are. When I'm having this pasta and I like to serve it, I like to top it off with that reserved buffalo chicken, a little bit extra Frank's Red Hot, and of course, no pasta is complete without a little extra Parmesan cheese. Here we have it. This dish is going to be a star at your Super Bowl party. That I can promise you. Everyone will be looking forward to eating this almost as much as they're looking forward to that halftime show with Rihanna. If you like buffalo chicken, if you like a little bit of heat, this is definitely the dish to be adding to your Super Bowl menu. Or the next time that you have some people over and you want a nice, comforting, delicious pasta dish, try my baked buffalo chicken pasta. I can't wait any longer. I got to go in. So you get the cauliflower, the chicken, that cheese all melted in all together. Mm. There's just too much goodness going on right now. The melted cheese going in with the roasted cauliflower, the buffalo chicken. It's one of my favorite dishes to make for parties, and I want you guys to try it as well. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that you enjoy the Super Bowl. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like and hit that subscribe button below. I will be back very soon. In the meantime, I'm going to go watch some Rihanna music videos and eat my baked buffalo chicken pasta and cauliflower. See you soon, guys.